What a difference a day makes. The amount of water flowing into Lake Oroville dropped from 190,000 cubic feet per second to 130,000 in less than 15 hours. A beautiful sunny day without rain allowed that to happen. And California Department of Water Resources officials say they expect that to drop another 50% by tomorrow, Saturday. So we're, we're looking okay. We, we fully expect that we won't have to use emergency spillway. If the rain had continued today, there was a strong possibility that the water would have come over the top of the emergency spillway, that slope of land next to the controlled spillway. And that's the way this dam was designed. As part of that contingency plan, DWR cleared much of the trees and brush from the emergency spillway. That will reduce the amount of debris that would end up in the lake below and float into the Feather River. Also, they were able to reduce water releases overnight from 65,000 cubic feet per second to 55. We've released more than double this amount in 1997 and only as recently as 2006 released more water than this and there wasn't any any impacts to the community in 2006 so we don't expect to see any flood event. The controlled spillway suffered massive erosion, a hole nearly the size of a football field. That sent water off its man-made path, taking land and trees with it. The downstream effects of that turned the Feather River into a mud bath. In downtown Oroville, the Department of Fish and Wildlife moved about four million small salmon and steelhead from the Feather River fish hatchery to keep them alive. Meanwhile, officials reassured the public at a news conference that neither the dam nor communities downstream are in any danger. This problem is with the spillway. It is not with Orville Dam. There's no erosion going on with Orville Dam. Orville Dam is completely intact and is, is not in jeopardy in any way from this event. 